welcome back to Blackwatch Intel. My name is Crashy, and today I have a very special guest. It's going to be Jenks. How are you doing today, my dude? I'm good, man. I'm good. So today we thought we would collaborate to bring an interesting discussion. Now, we've actually talked about this, or I've specifically talked about this a little bit on the channel before, but I wanted to bring a different perspective because Jenks actually plays on console and, you know, in one of his former videos has expressed his desire to reach top 500, but has shown that there are a lot of mouse and keyboard players in the top 500 area and just on console in general. And this is something we know. But we kind of want to just discuss the mouse and keyboard discussion. You know, is it fair? Is it something they should legitimize? And just kind of talk the whole nine yards. So I guess to intro in, Jenks, what do you think about the mouse and keyboard issue on console? Or, or you know, what what is your perspective, you know, pretty clearly? Plain and simple. I don't think it's fair, man. I really don't. But uh, there's really no competitive scene behind it. So it's, it's not like it's the end of the world if somebody's using mouse and keyboard, but for people like myself that I want to grind out this season, right? I want to place real high, I want to do really well. You're competing at <laughs> an unfair playing ground, you know what I mean? So it's it's just not fair. Yeah, for sure. I definitely can agree with that sentiment. I think because it's not something that is specifically developed and not something that's like publicly marketed as a usable peripheral not to mention the fact that they're using i don't even really know how it works i know they use these like weird device adapter type things to get mm -hmm. it to work in the first place um yeah, Zim i definitely is think like the, yeah that's the big one yeah i definitely think uh I, i'll agree with you on the note that it's unfair i guess the the kind of the weird part where this discussion goes for me is uh you know kind of like two questions one or two points, I suppose. One, what do you really do about it other than just trying to constantly report these people and, you know, hopefully Blizzard or, you know, PlayStation Network or Xbox Live will, will take action against them? And two, and this is kind of where my perspective kicks in a little bit, should they just go on ahead and legitimize mouse and keyboard for console anyways? And the reason I say that is, for me, the way I imagine someone taking a game super seriously is that they're going to go out of their way to get themselves an advantage. So it's it almost makes sense that they're doing it, but it's not fair still, you know what I mean? So I kind of wonder if in the future, just legitimizing the usage of mouse and keyboard for console and just making that kind of like the, the strongest peripheral of available for a game like Overwatch would be the best, you know, sense of action. I kind of agree with that. I mean, as far as the whole reporting and banning goes, it's not technically against any kind of rules. I know Blizzard, they they did make a post. I think Jeff was the one that was actually speaking on it. And they said that it was frowned upon and they didn't want keyboard and, mouse and keyboard on console. Because, I mean, it's not... You can get, like, a Sony-supported uh, device to use mouse and keyboard for console, but it's nothing like what the Zim 4 is. The Zim 4 basically replicates mouse and keyboard, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, and to have aim assist, like picture, picture playing on PC with aim assist. Yeah, that's actually something I haven't even considered. Really. It's pretty ridiculous, isn't it? <laughs> so, I mean, it's not really, it's not a bannable offense because Sony does support it. They do have their own uh, mouse and keyboard adapter. So I don't think you'll ever be able to get banned for it. And because there is no big competitive scene on console, I mean, it's not really a big deal, I guess, because you're just grinding for the ladder, right? But uh, what was the second part of your question, though? Essentially, you know, should they start legitimizing it, you know, for Overwatch <laughs> specifically, I suppose? Like, I think should so. I mean, the companies, yeah, you, you know, can kind of look at it like devices. this, too. Like, you can buy a scuff controller, right? <clears throat> mm hmm. And a scuff is a huge advantage too, because are you familiar with the scuff controller? Yeah, exactly, with the paddles and everything. Yeah, so that helps a lot, and it's kind of an advantage. It is an advantage, I guess, to someone using a regular controller, for sure. It's not on mouse and keyboard level. I think that, I think in the future, console's probably going to move to mouse and keyboard. I, I do believe that, I think so. Yeah, and that's kind of been my thought as well. I, I just, I guess my point is, and this is the weird thing that I've talked about in my mouse and keyboard discussion recently, was that there are very few games that don't play well with a mouse and keyboard, and even a scene like the competitive Call of Duty scene where it's, you know, super legitimized with a, with a controller, you know, there's not really a reason for them to change to mouse and keyboard, 
and I don't right. really think that that they ever will. But undeniably, that game would even still be, be you know would be played better with a, a mouse and keyboard. So it's kind of like a a culture change. You know, do I think that consoles as a as a whole will eventually move over to mouse and keyboard? A part of me wants to say yes, but at the same time, I'm not really sure. Is that the right decision in general? You know, do people just prefer their peripheral and don't really want to learn a mouse and keyboard? I mean, it's ultimately mouse and keyboards were the devices to use for computers, you know, before they were for gaming. So it's just kind of an interesting topic to to think about. Yeah, and I think when people think of console, they think of, you know, laying back on your couch, legs kicked up, you know, just relax and playing video games, right? It's not like tucked at a desk, you know, uh, just trying to to do your best competitively, right? Most people don't play console like that, but I think that in console, you can do that. Like, there is a huge competitive scene in console, just like Call of Duty, what Halo used to be. It's, it's there, and there are a lot of people that want to play competitively, and if they want to play at the highest possible level, mouse and keyboard is the way to do it. Yeah, but, and again, I, to like... To pull back from my history a little bit, I come from the like competitive Gears of War scene, and Gears of War is a game that's on Xbox One and on PC, and I've mm -hmm. played it on both, I have it on both, or had it on both when I had my console, and undeniably, Gears plays better on a controller. As I weird agree. as that sounds, I, I play Gears too. Yeah, I feel like as exactly weird like. as that sounds, you get a very slight advantage with your aim for like automatic weapons on Gears with the mouse and keyboard, but everything else is terrible. It's like really hard to play that game with a controller. And I agree with like you. A, in that game, a scuff rules because you can have such precision movement by you know changing the key bindings up with the paddles and such. So for a game like Overwatch, for a game like Call of Duty or something like that, I think it just depends on the community and I think it depends on the direction of either the companies that own the consoles or the companies that develop the game because. Right now, we know that Jeff Kaplan and, and the Overwatch team basically don't appreciate or don't like that there are mouse and keyboards on console, but I think we're both kind of in agreement that it, it may never change anyways, and it's not a super bannable offense, so maybe that could be the start of, you know, legitimizing the mouse and keyboard on, on a console, which to me feels like an odd compromise, you know, because... I understand that certain people would want to just use their controller because, hey, you know, most console players have been playing console for years and that's just their peripheral. And now we're basically telling them, hey, you know, there's something better out there and you're, you're either going to be forced to be at a disadvantage or learn that. Absolutely. You know, and like like I did in my video, I, I just briefly scrolled through the top 500 list and I do know a lot of the people in top 500 and basically... I, w I would go as far as... Okay, well, here's the thing, too. With Top 500, the Top 500 list is more like a Top 300. Like, most players in Top 500 have two or three accounts that are in Top 500. So it's the same person, just on different accounts, right? Yeah. And I would say that probably 70% of the hitscan players in Top 500 all use mouse and keyboard. Which is a crazy high number. It's It's almost... Oh, I don't. I can't think of a word to describe it, but it's it's it proves that it's not fair. It proves an unfair advantage, and it proves that it's a problem. It's a yeah. skewed leaderboard. It's not. You're not playing on I console. You know what I mean? Yeah. No. I mean, they're they're playing the game at a different level. You know, they're in a different dimension with their peripheral and aim assist. It's uh, it's something totally different than than even what we we experience on the PC side of things. Yeah. It's so, crazy. Uh, so I guess if I had to ask, just for the sake of discussion, what do you think can be done? What do you think should be done? You know, where where does this where does this go for the the mouse and keyboard and the controller? Sadly, you know, it's all up to Sony. It's not on Blizzard's part. You know, Jeff made the he made the comment saying that it's frowned upon on console, and that's as far as they can go. It's basically up to Sony. You know, but they support it. They have their own product to support it, and I don't think it's ever going to change. Sadly. But I think we just need to play around it. And for people that actually play with a controller like myself, we just need to get better. Plain and simple. Just use it use it as a challenge. Compete with them. Use it as a challenge, right? Yeah, and that's I mean that's an admirable uh outlook, you know. It's just 
you see that you're at somewhat of a disadvantage with the peripheral, but you're willing to play around it. You know, you know, you're pretty honest about the situation, and and you're just gonna try to grind it out. So, I guess that's gonna be it for the discussion. I appreciate you for coming on the channel. I think we had a pretty good one. I mean, it's it's a controversial topic because I don't think there's an answer to it immediately. I think it's gonna take a little bit of evolution, a little bit of de development to to either make a decision. Um, and see you and see where it goes. So uh, Jenks for anybody that might not know you although I doubt you need an introduction. Where can we find you my dude? <laughs> uh, back off my Jenks on YouTube Twitter oh. You find awesome me. dude. <laughs> yeah, and and just for for preferencing this I found Jenks just on a random YouTube spree ended up finding his Widowmaker play and it was phenomenal So go definitely check out his channel. I appreciate you for having on the channel my dude. Appreciate you having me man. All right, everyone, we'll see y'all on the next video. Do you feel your bones shake?